today it's all about can we get these interfaces to actually get audio into the MacBook Pro with the M1 Max inside of it. Who knows if this is gonna work. So let's go, let's check it out. So um, recap, the reason why I might not be able to is because one, we're on a new operating system called Monterey and two, because it's new Apple Silicon architecture in these new MacBook Pros, which means it's not an Intel chip, it's an Apple chip, and I have no idea if Universal Audio's uh, experience will work on the new chip. I have no idea if the Quad Cortex is gonna work, the HX Stomp ed with the Stomp Edit, and the Fender Mustang Micro, so let's find out. So first up, Universal Audio Aero. Okay, so first things first, with the Aero, you need to download the software, that's pretty easy. You just go to uaudio.com. They should have the uh, downloads in the main navigation. So you, you download that stuff. Installing it is where it gets slightly more complex. You have to go through this process of updating your security permissions on your Mac. You have to restart in recovery mode. And then you open this utility app for like startup options. And then you change some installation settings. And then you restart you install the software, and then you have to restart again. Um, you know, the security stuff is something you shouldn't do lightly. After you're finished, you should probably restart in recovery mode again and change the settings back. Otherwise, you're kind of leaving a security flaw in place for Mac OS. But, you know, this is how you have to do it. So that's what we're going to do. And what's special about Universal Audio and the Aero compared to the other gear I have on the uh, desk is that the software on the computer and what's going on inside this box work in tandem. There's these things called um, unison preamps, I think, and when you make a choice of what analog preamp you wanna be using in the software, it actually sets like digital transistors and changes the topology of what's going on inside of here to color the sound um, you know, and model that type of analog gear more accurately. So the software and then what's happening inside this interface have to work in tandem. And so when you're thinking about the fact that we have new Apple Silicon hardware in here, plus a new operating system that might not quite support the universal audio uh, hardware or the software hasn't been approved to work on Monterey yet, who knows if this is gonna work. So let's go, let's check it out. So first let's get it hooked up. This thing is super simple. It's just a USB-C right into one of the USB-C ports. Cool. All right, so it says it's connecting the arrow. I've got it showing up right here in the console. Uh, I guess I need a guitar. All right, and so let's try it in GarageBand too. So off the bat, I'm not hearing any sound. I don't have anything plugged in that should be uh, preventing me from hearing sound. So let's take a look. What's going on with the audio interfaces? Uh, let's say output device. Let's say output device is the speakers. <coughs> oh. All right, all right, and now let's go back over to Universal Audio. Let's put a unison, maybe like the Fender Tweed. See what kind of presets we have. Mellow Queen Strat, that sounds good to me. All right, so let's actually record this now. Um, turn off our metronome. All right. Well, I'm impressed. Honestly, I thought this one was going to be the one that gave us the biggest trouble. And here we go.
crazy. It worked. So Universal Aero, um, Universal Audio, the console, a plugin, a Unison plugin, and kind of recording, putting you know uh, uh, something on the track afterwards, playing with the settings, all worked. Like on day one. I have no idea, again, like I said, I'm not a professional musician, and so I, this is definitely not stress testing this setup at all, but you know, I was expecting to hit a roadblock with this, to be honest, with how crazy the, um, the website made it sound. So, um, so that's good news. All right, on to the next one. So let's try the Quad Cortex next, and here we go. Let's see, it looks like the GarageBand recognized it right away. Here we go, let's go back to our preferences. Let's make our output device our MacBook Pro again. Input device is the Quad Cortex. Okay, let's turn monitoring on. It's quiet. Uh, noise reduction, threshold on the compressor, amp. So amp volume. Let's try this out. Okay. Okay. So it works. Uh, let's let's record something with the with the uh, quad cortex. So, Quad Cortex works. That means I have almost no reason to believe this won't, and I have almost no reason to believe this won't, except for maybe the software that comes with it, HX Edit. So let's check that out next. All right, so I just plugged in the HX Stomp XL, and, you know, immediately GarageBand is seeing it. I'm going to go ahead and say Use. I'm going to make a new track. I'm going to do the same thing with an instrument track. Sounds like I'm going to get it from the HX Stomp XL. And I'm, it's looking like i got to change my preferences again because it's doing the output through. <laughs> the presets on this thing are so ridiculous. Listen to that. All right, well, it's working. That's the ATX Stomp XL, and it works. So now I want to check and see if the ATX Edit software actually works. So here we go. We are connecting. Yeah, even 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 that's working. And so that's actually a really good sign. You said So, we have one left, and that's the simple Mustang Micro adapter. Unplug the stomp. 
plug this guy in. Use it. Let's do it. All right, let's set up our preferences. Output device. There we go. And it worked. All right, here we go. All right, it worked. That's it. I'm thoroughly impressed. That's four different types of audio interfaces, ranging from the most simple Fender Mustang Micro, one USB in kind of thing, all the way to the universal audio uh, arrow using the console and using Unison preamps. And it worked. I got tracks down into GarageBand. Um, and I'm super pumped. So, so far, this thing seems to be going, uh, you know, just swimmingly. Yeah, going pretty well. Now, in my next video, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pull open Ableton, I'm going to pull open Logic, and I'm going to pull open maybe GarageBand again. And I'm interested to see kind of how those things work, if I notice slows, slowdowns, how long it takes to export something to disk, that kind of stuff. Because Ableton should be an Intel uh, app, and then someone's here and then uh that means i gotta go and then um logic garage band should be apple um silicon apps so stick uh, stick around like subscribe hit the notification bell if you're finding this stuff useful um i'm super excited to be making these videos and to be having this stuff on my desk and testing it out so um thanks for watching cheers